All right, guys, I got a all scissor cut today. We're gonna leave as much length as possible, but tighten it up around the ears, the sideburn, and the back of the neck. So let's get it all saturated, and we'll jump right in. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off by sectioning. He's got so much hair, and the top isn't crazy long, so I'm gonna just do one side at a time and put the top to the other side. So I'm looking up here at his natural growth pattern, where it wants to split. I can see somewhere around here it wants to split, so we're just gonna take it up. It's gonna be a longer all scissor haircut, so we're not gonna hurt anything. It's all gonna end up connected. Just wanna choose kind of the best point here that we can start on the sides and set that length that we're gonna do throughout the cut. So you can see he's got a crazy growth pattern and calic here in the front. So we wanna kind of respect that and cut it along with that. So you see I'm gonna section it a little bit higher than we naturally would if he didn't have a crazy growth pattern in the front. But we wanna make sure that we're cutting it along with what his hair wants to do. This hair wants to come this way. So if we cut it this way, it's just gonna fight our finished style. So we wanna include it in the side because it wants to go that way. We'll take the top over. Like I said, we'll do the other side next. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clip this out of the way. Stick one in the front one in the back, and now we can operate on this side. Now guys, I like the hair to be nice and saturated because it's gonna help the sections be cleaner and help my scissor cuts be cleaner. We're really not wanting to take a ton off, we just want to tighten up around the ear. Just make sure everything's all even and nice so we can get a nice finished style. I'm gonna try to get it all on camera as best I can, but it is a little difficult, so. I'm gonna start right above the ear. I'm gonna kinda just pull this out and I wanna see. We have to cut it as short as our shortest spot, so I'm just kinda looking for that. So I'm actually gonna pull it out here. This is the shortest spot, so I'm gonna pull this out. That's gonna be my line. I'm only focused on this top section right now. So now we'll take that, pull it to my guide, cut it straight across, keep working our way forward, cut it straight across. And one more section here. And again, this is gonna be our guide for the side. So this is determining what length we're gonna have on the side. So now we have our guide. So I'll take a diagonal section, making sure I get some of that guide in there down to the ear and comb this forward. So you guys see, there's my section. I'm gonna pull it out. We just cut the guide at the top. I'm looking for the hair at the top. You guys see, here's where it's cut. You guys are gonna use your fine tooth into the comb, bring it to the side. Here's our guide. We're gonna cut it straight down. Then we'll add to the section, take the next little bit, bring it out. Here's where I've cut. Boom. Now that's all consistent. So now we'll just come in, next little section, follow behind the ear. I'm holding it with my thumb, combing it down. And again, guys, we cut our guide at the top, so our guide should be right here. So again, fine tooth comb, pull the hair out. Guide's at the top, here's the short hair that I need to cut. Boom, straight line, add the hair under it to it, pull it straight out. There's the short piece, there's the long. Boom, cut it nice and clean, move on to the next section. Now guys, I just hold it with my thumb, let's turn them a little bit again. Just comb the section, hold it with my thumb, comb all that forward. Let me come in and grab the section and cut it. You see the hair is wet enough, it stays out of the way. So now we can come up here. Again, guys, our guide is at the top. Add the next section. There's my cut. There's our length. Go behind the ear and add that. And you're just looking for your guide, guys. So you can see where we've cut up here. Work our way down, get back to here. And I'm gonna leave the bottom. We are gonna taper it out after, but I wanna show you guys something cool, a little unique hairstyle. So again, hold it with your thumb. Comb it down. We're just doing the same thing all the way around, guys. So again, pull it out, guide at the top. Down, there's our guide. Sorry guys, I'm trying to stay out of the camera, but also make sure you guys can see, but also try to do a good haircut. So my scissors, I'm kind of moving in a weird shape. So you guys can see the line we just cut. We've done that all the way through. We just keep working our way back. So another section, just a little short. So I'm gonna keep my thumb a little bit higher so I don't let that pop out like it just did. You guys see there's our next section. I just messed it up. I just resection, guys. It's not too, I'm gonna re-wet the hair to make sure that it's staying where I want. So it's coming down. Same thing, guys, all the way around. Pull it out, guide at the top. I guess we'll just keep working. Take another section, hold it out of the way, comb it down, guide at the top. There's our guide. Cut it straight down. There's our guide. Cut it straight down. So now, guys, we're pretty much done with this side. You see when we come back, we should get a nice link coming back. We'll come in here in a minute and clean up this around the ear with some clippers. We're gonna go ahead and spin him, do the other side the same exact way, and then we'll connect the top. All right, guys, so same thing here. We're looking at this top layer right here. Again, we're short back here, so that's gonna kind of be my guide working forward. We're the longest up here in the front, so we'll go ahead and start here, pull it out. There's my shortest piece. That's gonna be our guide. Cut it straight up. Add the next section. Cut it straight up. Next section. You guys wanna add to it while it's in your hand. It's a lot easier to tie it right in. And now we have that guide. You guys can see it all the way through. We'll do diagonal sections again, connect all this together. All right, guys, so same thing, we'll pull it out. See our guide here at the top. 
cut straight to it, follow that down. There's our guide. Sorry guys, it's so hard to stay out of the camera and still make sure you guys can see. I need to be here. All right, so same thing, diagonal section, guide's at the top, pull it out. There's our guide. We're just following that guide, guys, pulling it straight out of the head from where it grows. Following that section all the way down. Connecting everything together. We'll just continue to work our way back, just like we did on the other side. We'll follow it around the back. I mean, I'll take much off the back. It looks like it's laying pretty nice, so we're gonna leave a little flip down here at the bottom. Like I said, I'll tape, I'm gonna show him, and if he likes it, we might leave it, but we'll probably taper it out at the end of the cut, so. You can tell when your hair's not wet enough, guys, because it doesn't want to stay where you comb it, so. Just add a little water, another diagonal. Next section, guide at the top. There's our guide. Follow it all the way down. Double check as you work your way back if you need to. Make sure that it's consistent. This is gonna be super weird for you guys when you've never done a cut like this. So don't worry about it if you need to go through it a couple times. Whatever you need to do, do another section. All right, so you guys can see. Obvious guide at the top. Cut it down, same thing. There's our guide. Straight through. Oh. And guys, I'm just kind of coming through and double checking this. So I'm just looking for anything that seems outside of, you know, what we were trying to cut here. Making sure that it's nice and consistent. You can see that this is all connected nice and neat. Continue to work my way around. Hopefully you guys can see all right. Or hopefully you guys understand what we're doing if you can't see it flawlessly. You guys will get the feel for this the more that you do it. So I'm gonna pull it straight out. Obvious guide at the top. It seems super difficult, guys, but it is uh, gonna be a little weird for you at first when you haven't done scissor work like this. So just give it some practice. Grab a mannequin head if you want. Mannequin heads have a lot of hair. So you can do like this cut, then go shorter. Just keep working your way down to get comfortable with the scissor work. All right guys, so now that we got the side done, we just check it by combing it back. You guys just wanna make sure that you get this nice flow going back. So now we'll move on to the back. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and style the top. We're gonna finish the back later. For this cut, for this video, I'm gonna do it a certain way. We're gonna leave the back for now. For that kind of flip out style at the bottom. So I am gonna taper this later for him, unless he likes this cut and likes this flip out cut. But go ahead and lower him down. We're gonna connect the top to everything we just did. So yeah, so just to make sure, I'm gonna resaturate this hair on top, just to make sure it's nice and wet. We're gonna split it straight down the middle. So you guys see I have it come back. We can do it going forward as well. I'm gonna take it straight down the middle or close to the middle. If you guys have seen my process, it doesn't really matter if it's perfectly in the middle. Let's take it to the middle. And now we're taking it out. So we're looking for the guide that we started with. Let me turn it. Because we're looking for the guide that we started with on the side. So I'm gonna comb this out. I can take my scissors, hold it up. My guide is out a little bit further. I can see through the ends of his hair and see my guide. Connect that to that guy. Make sure everything is nice and consistent. We'll just work that up to the front. And this is just tying everything together, guys, so that the top will lay in perfectly with what we did on the side. So now in the front, he wants to leave some length, so I'm gonna start to pivot out. Here's my guy back here. We're gonna pivot out in the front and leave this as the longest point. But you see now, I just pulled this out. We got some short here. So that actually needs to be my longest point. So now I'll start there and angle back towards. Now you can see here's where we have it cut. There's where I just cut. Now that connected everything together. So now when we swoop this back, it all should lay in super nice and clean. Now we'll do the other side the same way. The same thing guys, pull it over. We'll do the same thing here. So we're connecting it, but if it's longer up here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out to my longest point right here. Start to angle back towards our original guide. Because we took it to both sides, the longest part is in the middle that went to both sides. All we gotta do is pull it straight up. You guys will see short, short, and a peak in the middle, so. Take it straight off, we're just gonna work our way straight back. Super easy section to clean up. Only have to go through this one time. We're just taking that peak off from the middle. Everything else we cut on purpose, right? So we don't wanna take off more than we need. Now that's connected. So now we should have a nice comb back look. See, he's got a little bit of springy hair, so we're gonna put some products in, we're gonna blow dry it and get it laying back super nice. Then we'll come in and taper the sideburn out and be done. All right, so now we're gonna come in with the blow dryer. I'm just gonna get it worked to the back, get it dry so I can come in and do a taper. We'll do a finished style at the end. So I'm gonna use it on uh, medium heat, high speed. I wanna get it all flowing back nice and neat. We'll use our vent brush to get it going where we want. Again, we're gonna do a taper here, so I'm not worried about a finished style yet. We will come back in and do a little bit more in a minute. So on a cut like this, guys, the dryer can do a lot for you just by letting it kind of do its thing with the airflow. And then the brush is gonna just help us direct it even more. So say I want some lift here in the front, the brush is gonna give me some lift. But really the blow dryer itself will do a lot of the work for us and we can just get it going where we want without having to use 
the brush for a whole lot. And again, I'm just trying to taper this out. So I really just want this area dry so we can come in and do our taper. And you can like literally see the light color here and where it's wet. So I know that that's good and it's gonna be good enough for the taper. Now we'll spin him, dry this other side, come in and do the taper, and then we'll work on the finished style. All right, so we're gonna taper the sideburn out. I kind of want to leave as much hair as I can, but I want to make sure that this is gonna connect in. So I'm gonna kind of comb this panel out of the way. We're gonna still cut off as little as possible. And I'm gonna start with a large guard. So I'm gonna start with a number four. I'm just gonna feed it in and make sure that we have something to taper into. So I'm just letting the clipper feed out really nice and slow. You guys see just this bottom of this section. We don't wanna cut any more than that. And you guys can take a lick and then comb it back if you want, just to see, you know, if it's still laying how you want. See, we can do this. And I can see that this is a four down here. And we'll be able to come in and taper into a four, no problem. Now guys, we'll do very, pretty much the same steps as we always do, but we wanna be very careful because we don't have as much room to work with. So we don't wanna take off too much. So I'm actually gonna start with my lever open. I'm gonna come in and kind of set a low guideline with the lever open. I'll come right underneath the lever open and go ahead and get it down to skin, which you can kind of see it already looks okay. We'll go half open, close underneath, and that's blended out. Now, same steps as always, guys. So we'll go open one. And again, guys, a little, we're not really trying to see guidelines here. I just wanna kind of flick out. I'm trying to transition from the open clipper. So now I'll close it up. Just right in between that section. I'm gonna go ahead and skip to my two. We did a four, so I'm gonna skip to my two. It is open. I'm gonna take off just as little as possible, guys. We just wanna transition into what's above. Nice little clean sideburn, and then the rest will be linked and swept back behind the ear. So, it's one of the harder tapers you're gonna do, guys, because we're taking off as little as we can, not having those big guidelines that we always have. While we're here, guys, I'm gonna brush it all back edge up the C cup a little bit. Again, guys, pretty natural haircut. We're not trying to get him you know, crazy extra crispy or anything. Just want it to look nice and neat. So I'm just taking off very little here. Basically next to all that long hair. We just want to make sure that we have a nice, nice C cup here. We'll take off very little. And then we will go around the ear towards the back, but we're gonna only kind of get what you can see from the front. Now we'll come here. Again, guys, we're just trying to transition into the length. Everything's going back, so I'm just gonna follow it. Make sure that, you know, it looks like a nice clean around the ear line, but we're gonna leave this back here to flip out. But I'm gonna take off too much. If it is a little heavy, guys, you can comb it down. This length here, we can move his ear out of the way. Come in and get it. I'm just gonna trim her over comb a little bit. Just to lighten that up. So when we comb it back, it looks nice and neat. Now I'll do the same thing on the other side and then we'll work on this finished style. All right, so final style is still a little bit damp. I'm gonna come in with my statement grooming spray. Kind of disperse it through all this hair. It's gonna act as a slight hold, a heat protectant as well. Just kind of help us get this finished style going. I just want to kind of disperse it evenly through. You guys want to make sure you get it down in there, not just on top, on the top layer. Same when I'm saturating the hair with water, guys. You want to make sure it's getting actually down in the hair. It's going to provide some hold at the root. So now we got that in there, guys, we'll come in with the blow dryer and start to work this finished style out. I'm gonna switch to my diffuser. I'm wanting to get this kind of flipping out at the bottom. So I'm gonna be able to slowly dry it while I'm styling it. And I'm gonna come in with my round brush. So kind of a little bit slower, medium heat, low speed. You guys see I'm able to grab this hair with my round brush. I get that flip at the bottom. So we want it to dry slow. I also don't want to blow the hair around. So the nozzle on there was blowing the hair around, making it kind of crazy. I just wanted to get this little cool flip out at the bottom. 
And like I said, if you don't like it, we're gonna cut it off after the video. But I wanted to get a little creative with you guys today. So. All right guys, now we're coming with a little product, last but not least, get him styled out and check out this finished product. All right guys, so this is a matte product. This is Marmara Space Wax. I got 245 indestructible clay in the drawer and I just have, out of habit, just kept grabbing what I already use all the time. So just gonna use my hands to run it through the hair, kind of put the products where I want it. A little bit tighter on the sides, so I'm putting a little more on the sides to hold it down. We're gonna do a little lift in the front. Take a little bit back here in my style, little pieces that we made. I'm gonna come in and do the finished style. I'm gonna use my wide tooth comb. Give us the same look of this finger wave look, but we can kind of get the hair where we want. Now with my wide tooth comb, guys, I'm just gonna kind of work it where I want it. So kind of pull it all down to here. Kind of make this kind of a, a point on the edge. Make sure it's flowing back and you can see those comb lines in here. I want to leave the front kind of lifted, so I don't really want to mess with that too much. You guys just do it little by little. It takes some time to get these styles how you want it, so just kind of come in with your comb and just keep keep working it until you're happy with how it looks. Boy, this is a cool haircut. I'll be wishing somebody would give me a haircut like this. All right, guys, that's it for the video. You guys see, we got a little flip at the bottom. Nice, long, sweat back look. I love these haircuts. Guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this cut, man. Would you guys rock this cut? If it was helpful, please let me know in the comment section and smash that thumbs up, guys, if you like the cut. I'm hoping to bring some more stuff like this to you guys. So definitely let me know if you liked it. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I got three or four videos I recorded today. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you next time.